Okay, so now that we have this giant sandwich set up, it's time to put it to good use. Um, so this is going to be a very complicated clip out of bounds. And all really all this does is clips us out of bounds with a cutscene stored while we're higher up in the air than we're supposed to be. Um, so what you need to do is I'm gonna walk through what each of the menus that we have stored does. So uh, we have, you know, six menus stored. Uh, the menu number six is just going to be to get us movement. So you can just close out of this one and back out until you see this screen. Uh, so now we have access to movement because I close out of the menu to get movement. The fourth men or the fifth menu storage, the one that you currently see on screen, uh, this one is just going to be to cancel the GWS girls cutscene so that we get a cutscene uh, storage. That's going to allow us to walk over to Route 203. Um, this is a different timing than the one you did earlier, so you'll need to know both timings, but this one's a lot easier than the other timing. Uh, when you walk in front of the GWS girl, as soon as you hear the exclamation point, just hit the B button. I heard the exclamation point, I hit the B button. And you'll know you did it right because you'll see the exclamation point above her head. Um, it's very easy timing window. You should be able to get it pretty easily. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is head on over on Route 203. And again, because we're in that cutscene state, no trainers, no encounters, um, you're going to get yourself above this ledge and you need to be barely above the ledge. This should be good. Um, if you tap down any further, I'll show you I jump. Uh, see, so you want to be like just above where you jump. It's got to be very close. Um, that was a little high, I think. It's not super precise. There we go. That should be perfect. Um, but you just want to make sure that you're in a pretty good state. And then once you're here, you're going to hit right until you're over the bag. And you're going to hit A on bag. And you're going to use a repel. Um, like I said earlier, repels are a way to cancel the glitch state a lot of the time. So you're going to go ahead and use this. So just use a repel. And back out of the menu. And then once you're on this menu, um, this fourth menu is just going to be to hit the B button. The only reason that we needed this menu open was so that we didn't uh, activate the uh, rod early because we need the rod key item to be used on this next bit. So you can just close out of this one once you're in the position. And now we're going to use our key item storage to gain height. And the way that you do that is as long as your positioning is okay, you're just going to hit D-pad down. And we're going to use the rod while we jump over the ledge. And Rowan's going to tell us there's a time and place for everything. Um, when that happens, you're going to want to hit the B button to get out of the key item text. And then we're just going to head back to Jubilife. But the problem is you need to be in your bag when the repeller runs out. So once you get kind of close to Jubilife, just be prepared to get back into the bag. So I'm going to hit the B button to get out of this text. And then you might have to walk around the ledge. Um, so I just go around. And then once I'm pretty much ready to get back into Jubilife, I'm going to go back into my bag. So I can just put my cursor over bag, hit A. And I'm going to hold left until this repel runs out. Should be any second now. Um, when the repel runs out, you'll want to hit right on the d-pad until you're over an empty bag pouch because you don't want to accidentally use an item here and then you're going to just hit a and then no and then once you've done that you can back out of the bag and we're going to head back over to the gts girl who's over here and we have two more things to do in this little mini segment um the first one is going to be the same timing gts cutscene cancel that we did earlier and then all we do is we just walk back on Route 202 and we're ready to do the big out of bounds movement. Uh, so all you're going to do is walk in front of the GTS girl's little cutscene trigger, which is the left of the uh, this building you see on my left. And then wait like two-ish seconds. Again, you have to get the feel for it and hit the B button. So here we go. And you can kind of just wait and you'll see her text pop up, hopefully. Should be any second now. I'm so sorry the GWS isn't ready. And with that, we have all the components that we need to do the big out of bounds section to the Elite Four. Um, we have 
the GWS cutscene stored, we have a menu to allow us to save later, and we have the height that we need to clip into the Elite Four section. Um, so that is the, uh, the setup and the reason for the giant menu sandwich. Um, it's very confusing. Hopefully this video is a little bit uh, helpful at least in understanding the how and the why. And in the next video, we have really just one more thing left to do. Uh, we have to get to the Elite Four. Uh, and that is what we will cover in the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully it was helpful and I'll see you in the last video.